Hello, this is David Calabrese with Technical Support, and welcome to Luminite's Hands-On Help Series. In this series, you'll get all the tips and tricks to help you get the full potential out of your Luminite product. Today we're going to be looking at the 4220 transmitter board and how to calibrate it and set your high and low. First we need to power it up, 24 to 28 volt DC loop. Uh, when you're in the loop, this is just for reference, so we're looking at the 4 milliamp signal. Our capacitance substitution box, this takes the place of liquid in your tank, and of course our transmitter board. So the first step is calibrating your 4 and your 20. The 4 and the 20 is very important. Right now, as you can see, it's already calibrated as we have 4.02. It could be 3.86, it could be 4.19, and this is how you're going to set up your 4 to 20. So these three buttons are what you're going to use to calibrate the unit. Uh, set your high and your low and your 4 to 20. What we're going to do is hit SW1 and SW2 at the same time. Three C's will pop up and SW3. This is calibration mode. We're setting our 4. 4 milliamp. So as you can see if I push the SW1 button I can toggle it upward and the SW2 button I can toggle it downwards. This will be done by us at the factory to start out. If this ever needs to be done in the field you're going to need a meter to do this so you can see where you are on the 4 to 20 milliamp scale. We want to be exactly at 4 or as close to it as we possibly can. So we hit the SW1 button and that's right on. The SW3 button enters and we jump up to the 20. So now we can see the 20 milliamps were off by just a little bit in the hundredths column. So the SW2 button is your kind of like your downward arrow and the SW1 button is your upward arrow. So we're going to hit this to bring it down just a little bit. Boom. Right there. You're at 20 milliamps. Calibration 20. Hit SW3 to enter. And now you are ready to set your high and your low signal. In the field, you're going to be doing this on liquid. Right here we're using a capacitance substitution box. I had already pre-calibrated this uh, for low being 0 picofarads and 100% being 200 picofarads. Okay, so right now your liquid would be at the bottom of the probe or not even touching the probe. Setting your low is simple. You hit the SW2 button to enter the low set point, e -E -E will display for empty, empty, empty. Hit the SW3 button and now you can set your low set point. So right now I have it at zero, zero, zero. I can go up with it. This is simulating the percentage of tank full. But we want to be at zero when we're at four milliamps. So we go to E00, zero, zero, hit the enter, SW3 key, done. Now we set this one we're going to bring this up to 200. You know we're at 200, we're reading 100% already, but this could be 70, 80, I mean, depending on where, the, where we calibrated at the factory to test the units. You, you, will lift, you will raise the level of liquid in your tank in the field to your desired high set point, then you will hit the SW1 button, FFF means you're setting your full, SW3 enters, you are finished setting your high set point. Now you're ready for normal operation. And that completes how you calibrate the 4 to 20 milliamp and how you calibrate your low and your high set points. This has been part of the Hands On Help series. If you'd like to see more Hands On Help videos, go to luminite.com, L U M E N I T E.com. There is a link right off the homepage for the Hands On Help video page. Thank you and have a good day.